Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about the Pocophone F1 and an unofficial version of Lineage OS 18.1. Now, it's been you know long time since I've not done an install and preview. So today's video is how to install Lineage OS 18.1 on the Pocophone F1. And before this video or after this video, you will have a live stream in which I will be playing PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile on this particular ROM to test out how the performance of this particular software is. Now, remember, this is an unofficial version. Version. It is based on Android 11 for the Pocophone F1. There are only four files that we are going to need. We are going to need the vendor firmware that is 12.0.2. We are going to need the Lineage OS file and the NIC G apps. And we will need the DFE that is Disable Force Encryption to avoid encryption decryption issues. Now before we begin, it goes without saying that you need to make sure that your data is backed up. Your phone is more than 50% charged and you should have all the files as recommended on a pen drive with a OTG cable because that saves you a lot of hassle. Now, before we do all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each of my videos, you will find a link to our Telegram community. Please go ahead and join us there. We are going to complete 500 members there and it's a lot of fun. And last but not the least, if you think the live streams and the videos on this channel are awesome, please click the join button or you can donate to this channel to support in whatever way you can. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kalash, let's get going. So why are we talking about an unofficial Android ROM? Well Lineage OS 18.1 is, you know, this ROM has a history because the predecessor to this ROM was Cyanogen Mod which was the first ROM when it comes to one of the few first ROMs when it comes to customization or custom Android versions and stuff like that. So what I've done here, the four files mentioned are copied in this particular pen drive. All the data on my phone is already backed up and the phone is more than 50% battery. So what we're going to do here is we are going to unlock the phone and we are going to boot into TWRP recovery. So we'll do a restart and then we need to press volume up and power. Keep it pressed till the time you see the MI logo or the POCO logo in this meta because this is a POCO. My other device is a K20 Pro so I see a MI logo on there and now let's go ahead and connect the OTG cable. Okay, now swipe to open the recovery. Now begins the important process. So this time we are not going to do format data. We are going to give DFE a chance to see if it can save us from decryption issues. But after following this method, if you have any issues like a boot loop or anything, you don't need to panic. You just need to go to recovery, go to wipe and do a format data and then reboot and you should be good to go. So for now, what we will do is we'll go to wipe, advanced wipe, Delvic cache system data. We won't be wiping internal storage here. Okay, now let's go to install, select storage, USB OTG. All right, so we've wiped everything. Now what we're going to do here is we will go to the POCO F1 folder. So we will first select the vendor, add more zips, and then the ROM, add more zips, and then the NIC G apps. Swipe to confirm flash. Now one by one, these three files will be flashed and it will take anywhere between three to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so now everything is flashed. So wipe cache in Dalvik. Now over here, we need to flash DFE to avoid encryption issues. So we will go to mount and we will go and mount the vendor and then go to install and disable DM Verity. This is the file. Okay, you see it is repacking the boot IMG. Okay, it says done. Let's wipe da cache in Dalvik once again. Reboot system, do not install. Now this is the first boot. It will take anywhere between two to four minutes for the Pocophone F1, even though it is an old device, but remember it is rocking a Snapdragon 845. So we will wait for the boot logo and once the phone boots up, we will set it up and then we will look at the first impressions. Okay, it did reboot there. So those are not good signs. Okay, now this is something I wanted to show you guys. So if you see over there, I went to recovery. I just did format data. 
which unfortunately means that it wipes everything on the internal storage but i did that and then the phone is booting just fine and we still have the good old lineage os uh, 17 or 17.1 boot animation i really hope they will update it soon but let's wait for the phone to boot up and we will have a first look at the first impressions of this amazing rom all right so as you can see we are on the home screen right now for lineage os 18.1 based on android 11 for the pocophone f1 and let's go to about phone over here and let's see what we have if we go to android version security patch is of december and the build date is the 9th of december so this is pretty much the latest that it gets and of course this is android 11 over here so that is great and if you see let's go to the multitasking over here you do have all the android goodies wherein you can do this you can do that all the android related smart options are available but from a first impressions point of view it looks really really slick and really really smooth uh, the whole highlight of lineage os through this you know three or four years has been that this is a very very minimalistic rom it is bare bones it actually acts as a catalyst in the development of other roms that is the reason you see los fod and stuff that means the finger on display for k20 pro is based on a lot of lineage os roms so whenever we get official it should be a lot of fun but as you see the initial impressions are pretty pretty good and uh, i've used a very basic version of g apps based on android 11 and the amount of apps that you have you just have like what 5 5 5 15 and 318 applications once again we have another rom with youtube advanced but that's okay more or less it does come with gallery camera and initially i don't see any hiccups or any major issues so you know if you want to give it a try it is definitely fine moreover you know in my live stream you can go ahead and ask me questions about this particular rom but if you wanted to know how to quickly go ahead and install it on your pocophone f1 this is how you do it this was a quick install and first impressions after using it if i feel that i should review this rom based on the five point rom review system i will definitely go ahead and do that but for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials do tune into the live stream and until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye